the court actually, on its own motion, made uh, a change to her bail circumstances. Uh, neither the defense attorney, attorney nor the people uh, requested a change in the bail status. The court did that on its own consideration. So Judge Afranti did? That's correct. Okay, and why? I can't speak to Judge Afranti's rationale. Uh, the court has different considerations than the attorneys in a case have. Uh, and as the judge indicated, he appeared to have a concern about her ability to remain free of contact with law enforcement in the future. Is that the people's stance? Do you think that that's valid? It's certainly a possibility. Uh, I made reference to the 71030 notice that's attached to the indictment, and that clearly indicates that that uh, is an ongoing concern. You talked about having a strong case. Um, you believe that you have a strong case, in or if it were to go to trial. I do. I, I won't discuss the facts in detail. I will just indicate that if the video, the two videos in this case are viewed clearly and closely, uh, the strength of the people's case becomes apparent uh, when considered in light of the response by the police that day, the reason for their response, and how events unfolded once police were on the scene on Sealy Terrace that day. Is it your intent to go to trial with this? Uh, we have not yet made any discussions with uh, Public Defender's Office about how the case will resolve, so it's uh, too early. We are prepared to go to trial, and uh, as I've said before, it's the position of the District Attorney's Office that a violent, or, uh, use of force by police officers should always be a last resort. But with that said, if a police officer is engaged by someone who's threatening and violent, that police officer has a right and a duty not only to defend him or herself, but also to take that subject into custody. Uh, in this case, it is apparent that there was active resistance by Ms. Hardaway and uh, threats made by her towards police officers. And uh, we are prepared to try the case if it comes to that, absolutely. Do you think it's for? Well, I won't comment on whether or not that's backfired. I don't know what their intentions were when they placed the videos on uh, YouTube and other media outlets. I will say that the videos, uh, from our perspective, strengthen the people's case. Uh, and if necessary, we're prepared to go to trial with that.